Tip number 14. If you have an exposed path on your component, consider breaking solder paste into smaller pieces. This is what I mean. This is an Ethernet chip here. And as you can see, in the middle of the chip, there is quite a large exposed path. And uh, always when you create documents for, uh, for the manufacturing, board manufacturing, PC manufacturing, one of the layers which you need to provide to your assembly house is this one, top solder, bottom solder layer. This layer is used to place thin on the pads. So if you have a look on this top solder la layer, this is the gray layer here, you can see it's everywhere where the pads are located. So here everywhere there will be the thin. In the middle, however, in the middle, I didn't create one big gray square, but instead I, I broke this big square into smaller, four small squares. And it's because uh, if you just place a bunch of tin into large area, what can happen during the assembling when you heat up this kind of board, the component may start floating on the tin. Yeah? If you put there too much tin, the component may start floating and then uh, you, know, you can have problem during the assembly. So it's much easier just uh, break it into smaller pieces and then soldering is much easier and much better. For everyone who doesn't know how exactly this uh, layer is used, I'm going to show you. This is how they use it. All these openings here, they are created from the layer. Yeah? And uh, it is used for something uh, what is called stencil. This is stencil. It can be from plastic or it can be metal sheet, which uh, during the board assembly, they place it on your PCB and they spread thin paste on the top of this. And when they remove this sheet, the tin will be exactly on the pads. Yeah? So this is how the uh, paste layer is used. When I say the here is quite large exposed pad, it's not actually not uh, so large. I'm going to measure it so you know approximately, you know, if you should do it for uh, this kind of size of pad or this kind of size of pad. So basically this one is, it's quite small as I say, 4.8 millimeter, yeah? 188 mils. So even for quite small pads, you may want to break them into, into smaller pieces. I use the word large because comparing to these other parts, it is really <laughs> large. And uh, I'm speaking about this tip because, uh, again, when I was starting with hardware design, I didn't know I should be doing this, but you will find this information many times in datasheet. And uh, even I knew I should do it many times, I forgot to do it. So don't forget about this. Don't forget about the tip number 14. If you have an exposed path on your component, consider breaking solder paste into smaller pieces. Why? Because it helps during soldering.